We have given you quite a few sprint training tips here on GCN, but normally they come from people that aren't very good at sprinting. But next to me is a man who's particularly good. Nine stage wins at the Tour de France, and Marcel Kittel is about to give us three key sprint training sessions which he does at home. Of course, uh, that you do sprints on the bike. So that's what, uh, what I do at home or in training camp, so also the team. We are doing, uh, normally in the beginning of a three-day training block, the first day when you're still fresh, we do uh, like a sprint training. Means in general a pretty easy ride, but uh, then we do, uh, uh, for example, sprints like a session of four times eight seconds, then maybe two times in a row. Uh, in the beginning of the training and uh, sometimes also four times 12 seconds at the end and you can combine it a bit on based on your feeling so how long between each eight seconds uh, two minutes rest yeah and uh, between each session like 10 minutes if you go longer of course everything that is more than 12 seconds your body also needs to be needs to be well rested some people say Sprinter training is lazy training, so uh, be sure that you take, you know, enough good rest. So for somebody at home, that session would be, let's say, an hour and a half. Do oh, four... you, you can do it uh, three hours, four hours. Yeah. But uh, I think three hours is enough for the most of the people if you never have done it before. Yeah. But uh, it's just to um, really give this uh, impulse to your body, to your legs. Of course, uh, gym training, which okay. is uh, which is based on the same idea. I do quite a lot of that. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Maybe for your legs, yeah. not for your eyes. But um, so the the goal of gym training is actually, I mean, if you start uh, cycling, if you're new to it, it makes sense also to think about gaining muscles. For us professionals, normally, at least I I can say I think I have enough enough muscles already. Yeah. But the goal then is to really try um, not to go for maximum weight but for maybe maximum repetitions or uh, even just to make it a, a neurological uh, exercise that you again try to flex as many muscles as possible. So you're doing squats with free weights or on a machine? So when I start in winter I'm actually doing um, uh, a set of uh, three times um, eight till ten repetitions yeah. and uh, the first uh, gym training in winter will be probably around um, uh, 60 70 kilograms uh, just after the holiday you need to get used to the weight again yeah. and then you can start to after two three times when you have done that uh, gym training you can start to increase also the weight so how many times per week and how many and what time of the I, year only ideally, in the winter Ideally, you can do it the whole year round. In winter time, we do. I do it two times a week. And uh, if you can, I mean, as a professional, it's not always easy to do to do that uh, also in the season because you're always traveling and doing also the races, so you have to recover. But if you can keep two times a week or one time a week, it's good. If you have some some good uh, good friends that that are also strong on the bike uh, and you want to prepare for maybe for your next race at home then it's always good to do or to try to do a little bit of uh, lead out training yeah. because uh, it will of course it will give you the intensity and it will also give you if you set set a goal beforehand like the the sign of a city somewhere that you that you will finish there then it will give you the training on uh, on the on on knowing how far you can go, yeah. and uh, that's really important in the sprint. And it's a good training to to train that uh, together with friends in the lead out. Ah, uh, yeah. Normally, what we do is uh, we try to combine that uh, that sprint at the end also with some uh, intensive uh, kilometers before. So we would uh, let's say we would do in general uh, three two to no, normally three times three kilometers with around 10 minutes rest in between and uh, the first 
uh, two kilometers of those three kilometers, you will rotate, yeah. you know, then the sprinter or you get in your formation and you do one, one final lead out. So there's three sessions from Marcel Kittel himself. First one, a three or four hour ride with multiple sprints, four by eight seconds, four by 12 seconds at the end and some between. Go to the gym, do some squats especially. And finally, go out on a group ride and sprint for signs rather than going for a specific duration, including a lead out beforehand. Now, thanks very much to Marcel for joining us today. If you'd like some more content from GCN, firstly, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on the globe. Then if you'd like to take a closer look at his bike, you can click in the bottom corner down there. Or if you'd like to see Cy Richardson's look at the brand new Shimano DI2 Hydraulic, you can find that in the other corner down there.